So what's the difference between um, feeling sick with a panic disorder and um, when I didn't have a panic disorder? You know, um, what I mean by this is a lot of us that has a panic disorder, you know, will feel sick, um, sick like, you know, you, you have flu-like symptoms, um, fever, um, etc. Um, you know, as for, as for myself, like when I didn't have a panic disorder, I didn't really get sick too often. If I did get sick, um, I was, I would be sick for up to maybe five days, even up to a week because, um, you know, when, when I didn't get sick, I didn't get sick. But when I get sick, I will get really sick. So I think it's, I think it's because like, um, my body is not used to being sick. And when I do get sick, and then I'm like, oh my god, I'm sick. Um, but when I, but when for panic disorder, when you're sick, um, you know, you start thinking, oh my god, um, why do I feel the way I feel? You know. But when you don't have a panic disorder, you don't really think about why you feel sick. You're just gonna be like, oh, I. You're just gonna be like, oh, maybe I didn't get enough sleep. Um, maybe I overwork. Maybe the weather changed. You know, the seasonal change, things like that. But, um. You know, the difference, um, I can't speak for everyone else, but for myself, it's like when you have a panic disorder, you get a headache, right? Um, you're going to be like, oh, what if it's not a headache? How come my headache lasts for hours? How come it lasts for days? How come it lasts for weeks? Uh, maybe it even lasts for months. How come I woke up with a headache and it never went away? Things like that. Um, then you start thinking, oh, I have a brain tumor. Um brain cancer uh, if you get like a symptom um like tingling or you you know things like that you always think for the worst but when you don't have a panic disorder you don't think for the worst you know when when you have like a rash on your body somewhere for example you just go to the doctor you know and you're like oh i got rash i better go doctor um just to get a check out get some medication and and see and go from there but when you have a rash and you have a panic disorder you look at that rash even that little tiny rash you might think oh my god i have skin cancer you don't think it's a rash you think it's something bigger um you know so another thing is like when you have a panic disorder you're gonna start having symptoms sensations you never had when you didn't have a panic disorder um you know like for myself when i when when I didn't have a panic disorder, I was, I never really get migraines. I'll get headaches, but I never get migraines. Um, I never get like air pressure. You know, I never had um, that heavy, um, head sensation. You know that, that tightness in the your head, like like a tight band or that heavy head sensation where you, the back of your head feels heavy. Um, because I get numbness like when I sleep on my arms, but now. Once I start having panic disorder, when I get numb, I start thinking, oh my god, um, I can't, I, why am I feeling numb? Wow, why am I getting goosebumps? Um, another sample, I do wear glasses when I'm driving, when I'm using the computer, watching TV, or I'm reading something. But I don't wear them, uh, my glasses, like when I'm just sitting here doing nothing, you know, things like that. But, um, uh, when I have, like, Times when I didn't have my um, panic disorder, if my vision just goes like kind of little blurry because like I'm waking up or like my eyes are like trying to like auto focus itself, you know, which happens to a lot of people. It's like, you know, you wake up and then you're like kind of like this and then your eyes need to adjust. Um, once I start having a panic disorder, I keep saying, oh my God, I'm going to lose my vision. Why, why am I getting blurry vision? Why am I getting tunnel vision. Um, I never had tunnel vision when I didn't have a panic disorder. Panic, I mean, um, tunnel vision is what you can't really see on the side. You can't really see too clear or it's completely hard. You can't see at all at the side. It's just really blurry, but whatever is in front of you, um, it might be clearer than whatever's on the side of you. Um, but when I didn't have a panic disorder, I they get um, blurry vision from time to time, um, things like that. But another thing, when I didn't have a panic disorder, um, I wouldn't get like, 
I wouldn't get a lot of symptoms, sensation I did once I started having pain disorder. Um, like, you no, know, I I used to get like this flash of light in the corner of my white eye. Um, I haven't had it for months. But, um, I used to get it bad. Um, sometime last year it would, as soon as I woke up, and I would get this flash of light. So if I close my eyes, it looks like um. It looked like fireworks just in the little corner and with my eyes open it just looked like you know when someone flash a flashlight on you that's what it looked like but it's that tiny little light um lately i haven't noticed but um i do get eye floaters eye floaters or like you know those little lines or little darts that, that are kind of transparent you can see them but you can actually see the lines itself um when I had those for years, but once I started having a panic disorder, I kept thinking, oh my god, what's this? Why is my vision like this? You know, things like that. Um, Have I felt detached when I didn't have a panic disorder? Sure, there are days that um, I would say, whoa, how come I don't, I don't feel, I feel like I'm in a dream. And then um, within a couple of minutes, I'm like, oh, whatever, continue with my day. Um. You know, but with a panic disorder, when you feel detached from yourself, you're surrounding, you're like, oh my god, um, why do I, why do I feel like <clears throat> I'm sharing a body with somebody? How, why do I feel like, um, why do I feel like I'm not in my body, but at the same time, I, I feel like I'm in my body, you know, it doesn't make sense, right? But, um, other thing I noticed, <clears throat> it's like, um, any little symptom, no matter how small, how big they are, with a panic disorder, um, you know, we always think for the worst case. Um, like I say, sometimes if I have like a little pimple on my face that I never had before, uh, I'll start thinking, like I said, skin cancer. Uh, you know, what if I, if I'm wearing a hat like I am right now, um, I remember when I started having a panic disorder, my clothes always felt tight, right? And like if I'm wearing a really large, really um, loose fit shirt or something, like I, I don't really like wearing my clothes too tight or too loose. Sometimes it feels like, it feels like I'm being choked with my clothes. Sometimes my hat feels too tight. So when I loosen it, with my um, snapback hat, I loosen it up and it still feels too tight. Uh, even though it's it's loose like this, or sometimes even looser, but at the same time, it feels like it's too tight. And um, when I didn't have that disorder, um, and there was time that I feel like my clothes was too tight as well because uh, it was hot and I'm sweating or whatever, I would be like, oh, it's just, I'm sweating. You know, when you're sweating, your clothes, your clothes um, sticks to you, you know. Um, and uh, then when I... When I didn't have pan disorder, um, I didn't really get when someone sneaks up behind me and just try to scare me. I didn't really jump. Um, it's like I have a like it. Sometimes I have a light reaction. Right, someone goes up behind me and I don't really do anything. I'll just turn around. I'm like, oh hey, and you know things like that. Um, but when you have a panic disorder, you know. One little thing drops like a pen. I could actually drop a pen and then I'll be like, my heart will start racing. I'm like, oh my God, it's an earthquake. Um, I do live in California. So, you know, I'll, we do get earthquakes here. Um, matter of fact, last, last October, November, we had a couple of earthquakes, um, you know, and which was the first one I felt in years. And then my heart, the first one I felt in a long time, my heart started racing. And when my heart started wasting, I was like, oh my God, I'm going to have a heart attack. And um, I remember when I didn't have a panic disorder, um, when there was an earthquake back when I lived in San Francisco, I used to feel like the smallest one, like the two point something, the one point something. Um, I was, I actually lived in San Francisco during the 1989 earthquake. That was the first earthquake I felt. And I was about um, nine years old at that time. Right, of course, what they do, I got scared and I jumped on my mom. We were at the store and that was the first earthquake I felt and I didn't know what was going on. And, you know, and once I started having a panic disorder and I felt the first earthquake in a long time, I started thinking instantly, oh my God, 
the big one's gonna happen. Um, the big one's gonna happen. At the same time, I was like, okay, if I was housebound, like, where I was bedridden, what if there's an earthquake? Um, what if, what if the, um, my house was shaking so bad, um, we had to run outside, you know, things like that. And then as all this stuff plays in your head, you know, when you, when you don't have a panic disorder, you don't start thinking about, um, Things like that, you don't start thinking, oh, what if there's an earthquake, you know, when when I leave my house, right, uh, when I didn't have a pain disorder to go to work or go wherever I had to go, I don't think about, oh my God, what if, what if, what if, what if, you know, the only thing I think before I leave my house is like, okay, um, they accidentally, did I turn off the TV, did I turn off the computer, things like that, you know, um, there's no no one home that I lock that I lock um the doors that should be locked you know things like that um but when you have a panic disorder and you're not really housebound but you can go to work stuff like that you know you start thinking is the stove off did I did I turn off the water um when I went to the bathroom did I flush the toilet um did I do this did I do that you know um and then you start thinking if I didn't do if I didn't do this, um, when I come back, my house might be flooded. I might, uh, you know, things like that. Um, so I do have OCD. Um, I had OCDs, um, as long as I can remember. Um, this is even before I have a panic disorder. I talked about having, a uh, OCD when it comes to keeping my hands clean, you know, um, but you can find my videos on my OCD, but, um, you know, like when you have a panic disorder, everything that, everything that you, you see, everything you touch, um, every little sense that you get around, everything seems worse than it is, you know, cause your mind plays so much tricks on you. Um, it's because you, you created this anxiety. Once you have a panic attack, um, you, you create this universe in your own head that um everything is against you everything um that happens to you is you blame on yourself and you know i blame i blame having an anxiety on myself um you know which is not a good thing because once you blame yourself you start having negative thoughts you know once you have negative thoughts and you never had negative thoughts before that's that's going to increase your anxiety that's going to increase your symptoms that's going to make your sensation your symptoms um amplify um for example you know when i when i started having my panic disorder the first one the f the first couple i didn't really have all these symptoms all these sensation i and then slowly um they add up because i keep worrying about it I, the more i worry about one symptom another symptom come um it's just like you know, when the dizziness bothered me, I start getting the weak jelly legs. Um, sometimes my legs get weak and jelly and it made me feel dizzy because my legs feel like they were not supporting me. It feels like I was doing this. It's because of my legs. Or well, sometimes I'm thinking I'm dizzy, but I'm not dizzy. It's because my legs are just weak and jelly. Uh, they're not really weak. They're not jelly. It's just that feeling they are, you know. Um, there's times that I feel like my head is going to explode, you, you know, which doesn't make sense, but I'm pretty sure a lot of you that has a panic disorder um, feel that way too, where your head feels like at any time it's just going to blow up. I know it sounds crazy. I know it sounds scary, but if you have a panic disorder, that's how you might feel. Um, when I didn't have a panic disorder, you know, I used to, there's time my head just doesn't feel right. It just feels a little strange. And then I'm like, ooh what's this feeling and then I just continue on my day I don't think about it I don't worry about it and it just goes away and doesn't come back like I say um if a panic disorder you know sometimes you you think you feel a certain way you might feel like you're dizzy but I'm pretty sure um thinking about it will create you to feel dizzy you could sometimes I feel dizzy. sometimes I feel like I'm dizzy but I get up and I start moving around. Then I realize, you know what? I'm not even dizzy. It's just that I'm ha I'm thinking about the symptom itself. I'm when you're thinking about something, you can create that feeling of it.
Don't get me wrong, you could actually be dizzy and you are dizzy, but there's time that you might not even be dizzy, but you're creating that that symptom, that sensation that you you hate the most, you fear the most, that that bothers you the most. Uh, once you think about it, sometimes just think about it. Um, close your eyes, envision something. You can actually, and then you open your eyes. You might even think it's right there in front of your face. Um, Think about someone you haven't seen for so long. Close your eyes and then you can, you're going to imagine, you can, you might even be able to hear that person's voice. You might even vision them in your mind. You can, once you open your eyes, you might even, for a couple of seconds, you might even think you hear that person. You might even think you see that person in front of you. I'm guilty of that myself. If I think about, oh, I have a headache and I start touching my head, I start doing this, um, I'm going to give myself a headache because in my mind, that's all I can think of, you know. So like I said, um, with the difference between having a panic disorder and that, and feeling sick or uh, whatever you feel, um, it amplifies. But when you, when you don't have a panic disorder, you, you don't always think for the worst, you know. You don't think, oh, um, I'm tired, I must be dying. Um, I'm tired, my body might give up on me, you know, um, you know, I'm having more nightmares, some, why am I having more nightmares, you know, things like that, um, when I didn't have a panic attack, I used to get nightmares, um, but when I wake up from my nightmares, I, I know it's a nightmare, so once I wake up, I don't even think about it, but with a panic attack, panic disorder, when you have a, when you have a nightmare, you wake up, you're like, oh my god, um, you're going to think that that nightmare is going to come true. You know, um, I'm guilty of that myself. You know, um, things like that. Sure, I dream that I lost my job before I even um, start having my panic disorder. And I lost my job because of my panic disorder. I dream my, my ex, which was my girlfriend for over 17 years, left me because of my panic attack. Sure, she she left me uh, a little bit over a month ago. Took out sixteen year old daughter, you know. Um, but I also dreamed that I I no longer have a panic disorder. I dreamed that I went back to work. I dreamed that my panic disorder completely gone. Things like that, you know. So don't worry about your panic disorder too much. Don't give it too much. Um, don't give it too much power. Um. Because the more power you give it, the more symptoms you get. The more the more you worry, the worse it gets. So I know it's not easy. Um, I myself thought I was never going to get over my panic disorder. Sure, I still get panic attacks. Um, maybe once every couple of weeks, maybe once a couple of months. But look at me now. You know, um, I'm driving, I'm leaving my house. Uh, I'm doing it, a lot of things that I think I couldn't do because I no longer have negative thoughts. I no longer feel depressed. I no longer feel my symptoms, my sensation as much. And when I less, when I don't feel them, I continue doing the things what I want to do. They don't bother me. They, they don't. Uh, what I mean by they don't bother me is when I feel dizzy, I can continue do what I'm doing. Um, and there's times that I don't even feel dizzy at all. You know, there's time I don't even get headaches anymore because when I start having my panic disorder, when I start having all these symptoms, all these sensations, I would get them as soon as I woke up and they slowly decrease and then they come back and hit me hard again the next day, you know. But now I, now when I wake up, I don't feel sick like I used to. Do I still wake up feeling sick from time to time? Sure I do, but... Nothing extreme like they used to be. Because if I was still feeling the same way I did feel back then, I wouldn't be able to sit in the living room. I wouldn't be able to to leave my house. I wouldn't be able to just go to the kitchen and get a cup of water. I wouldn't even be able to to get off my bed to take a shower. You know, do the simplest thing like I used to. So... I see an improvement in myself. So if you're going to a panic disorder and you think this that you're never going to get better, um, 
Why are you thinking you never go get better? That's just feeding your mind with negative thoughts and negative thoughts will impact you in a really bad way. It's just gonna drag your, it's gonna make your mind feel sick. It's gonna, once your mind gets sick, your entire body is gonna feel sick. Because remember, every part of your body is connected to your brain. You know, if, if you see things, your mind captures it. You know, like I say, you, if you see something, um, if you look at something for a couple of seconds and then you keep thinking about it, you close your eyes, I guarantee you, you could envision it and you with your eyes closed. You might even dream about uh, a certain thing that you've been thinking about. I, I'm like the same way. If I, if I think about something for a couple of hours, I, I might, 85% of the time, I'm going to dream about what I'm thinking about, you know. Um, I've been thinking about, you know, the people I used to work with, where I used to work at, you know, um, where I used to live and I will end up dreaming about it, you know. Um, what's funny is that I talked to one of my cousins that I haven't seen for 20 plus years and, you know, he, he called and I pick up the phone he asked me, um, who am I? And I told him, who I am. And he said, oh my God, I haven't talked to you or seen you or your, f or your family in person for over 20 years, you know, things like that. And it's funny because I dreamed about his family the night before. So, you know, sometimes you think about something, you might dream about it and you never know that dream can come true. Um, dreams come true when you work on it. And sometimes you think about something, um, you always have to think about the good things because, you know, with a panic disorder, a lot of times you think about something bad, you dream about something bad. You know, your mind remembers what you tell it, what you feed it. So, um, that's the difference. When you have a panic disorder, you feel sick, you think about feeling sick all the time. You create that sickness in your head and then your, your mind's like, oh, he's thinking about being sick, so let's make him sick. You know, um, it's not easy to think positive when your mind is filled with negative, but, you know, sometimes watch something funny. You know, think about something in your past life that make you happy, and then you go, you might even sit down and smile. Like me, I just thought about something funny, and instantly I'll just smile about it, you know. So you might think, oh, it's hard to think positive when you have a negative mind. I used, I was like that, but once I start thinking about something, positive over and over my mind was like oh i like i like being happy and things like that so um that's what really helped me and like i said that's the difference between having a panic disorder feeling sick and feeling sick without panic disorder is that when you're not when you don't have panic disorder you can just forget about it just like that but with a panic disorder you can't it's because you think about it too much um well, yeah, that's pretty much it, and and here's some clips from uh, my walk from today.